ancestral falls apart. Right on each other's right. We devastate by where it fell down, you got a water and just carry it the back. The boy says that awkward of fraud night. An SSTO craft launch facility lies to the east of our current location, McNeely Air Force Base. The facility was a collaborative project between Osea and Yuktabani. It was built to be a bridge to outer space, with a mass driver 7.5 miles in length. Our radar has detected several planes from a Yuktabanian squadron approaching the facility from several directions. The facility is currently conducting pre-launch operations for an SSTO craft. The base commander will provide you with further orders. D-130. D-130 from all the Russians, huh? Our old private. This is the commander of McNeely Air Force Base. All units, including those refueling at this base, are now under my command. Engage the incoming enemy. All untrained pilots are barred from taking off. Those guys are still kids. Huh. Urban parole, please. Ten minutes to launch. Commencing countdown. I remember this space center well. The mass driver was built by Osea and Yuktabania as part of their collaborative efforts to construct an international space station. Our anti-war president used the surplus funds that came from cutting the defense budget to build it. Is that the art bird? The art bird. A white bird built as the first step toward the realization of the space station project. Now it's left its orbit and is just low enough to graze the atmosphere. It's coming down to pick up the laser cannon they're about to launch. They were building a bridge of peace that would span into outer space. Not anymore. The machinery meant for this peaceful mission was about to be used for our counterattack. supposed to work like a satellite? Why did it climb down all this way? It's a maneuverable orbiting spacecraft. I know that. I'm just saying, if the system uses atmospheric friction to change its orbit, then wouldn't that make it pretty hard to defend itself? Hmm. I guess it'd be in trouble if someone started firing at it right now. Yeah, <laughs> so shouldn't it be higher up then? That should be higher up. Continue countdown. Of the leverage. Three minutes to launch. Oh. Halt the countdown! Enemy incoming! This is the Base Air Defense Command! The enemy has a large formation of transport planes escorted by a squadron of fighters! They're conducting an air assault to capture this base! What? They're actually planning to invade Osea? Shoot the parachutes before the tanks detach. We'll smash them into the ground. You with me? Yeah. I guess we don't have any other choice. I can't believe that's our strategy. Airborne tanks are dropping from the transport plane. Can you count all those parachutes? I gave up already. Destroy all airborne ACVs. Engage them in the air and on. ACVs are moving this way. Don't let them get near the mass driver. Is the SSTO safe? Under 12 parachute shot away. It's in free fall. 
our forces are sufficient. I'd like to think so, too. But they even had to call us out, you know. Our allies on the ground are mixed in with the enemy. Can't we do anything about that? What's the status on those airborne tanks? Grim, can you check? Several of them have already landed. They're executing their attack. We should engage as many of them as possible in front of our defense perimeter. Yeah, I agree. Roger, kid. 
Everything 
up once again, laser cannon in its wings. It was a moving sight. In my heart, though, I wished it didn't have to be used in war. None of them found out why the enemy targeted the base until much later. Of course, by that time, it was too late. We prevented the Yuktobanian army from capturing the launch facility. The SSTO launch was successful. The SSTO docked with the Arkbird, which had descended into the upper atmosphere, and successfully transferred a laser weapon module over to the craft. All aircraft with the 108th Tactical Fighter Squadron and the Sand Island Detachment returned to base as soon as rearming and refueling operations are complete. <laughs> <laughs> 